flash floods of a threat under really heavy thunderstorm type rain. Grassy areas now are almost like the sort of tarmac concrete that we're used to in urban areas that have this runoff problem. Very little can get soaked into the ground. Normal soil, it has pores and so on, holes that run through it. Healthy grass will help with the roots and so on that pl- make roots through for water to get deeper into the soil. Dry ground gets compacted up tighter all the little loose gaps and so on disappear from the ground it goes really rock hard because it's become very dry it starts becoming water repellent it's called hydrophobic and that means that water doesn't want to be on the sides it can't penetrate through there's very small gaps that are left because it's trying to avoid the soil it just pulls on the top and it can just run off or just sit there waiting to evaporate because it can sit on the top for quite a long time it can run away down slopes and so on and once you start getting downstream you start getting to the point where a lot of water can pile in quite quickly if you've had heavy enough rain. That's what causes flash flooding. What we want is light rain. We want hours of light, gentle rain that will just slowly fill the, sort of cover the surface. Really heavy rain won't even necessarily help with the water shortages that water companies are seeing in rivers and reservoirs, etc. You say the grass is dead and has been for weeks everywhere. The roots aren't dead and it will come back. But how quickly will it come back? Well, it's difficult to say, really. It's going to depend on how much rain we get and what type of rain. If we need lightish rain that lasts for hours and hours is what really will solve the problem. And then once you start getting that, then the system will start recovering and then it's more able to take more water as it comes.